So I believe that uh, any person, man, woman, child, adolescent, um, that is into the EDC uh, gear, preparedness type mindset, whatever you want to call it, at some point in their lives played superhero. Um, whether that was playing Superman or Batman in your backyard with your friends or your, your little brother, um, or, you know, playing Black Widow if you were a girl. That was the superhero that my little sister always looked up to. Um, or, you know, when I got older, I, me and my buddies would always play Army and um, huck rocks at each other in the woods, which <laughs> probably wasn't the greatest idea, but, you know, we were fine. Um, but I can remember, I always loved Batman, and I always thought it was so cool that somebody who was this ordinary person came up with all these great inventions in his bat suit and, um, you know, his, his belt um, and all the gear that was on his belt. So I think that that's in a little bit of everybody that, that enjoys this type of content. And if you do enjoy this type of content, please like and subscribe. Uh, we're going to have more videos coming out. So, uh, But in reference to that bat belt, right, I always thought that was really cool. He always had these hidden things and he just whip out a tool or a gadget and tie up a bad guy or whatever. Um, I tried to mount a bunch of stuff to an old belt one time and it like fell over because it just, it wasn't, it was a cheap, I think a cheap belt from Kohl's when I was a kid. Um, you throw one or two things on there and it'll fall over. This is definitely not that. Uh, if you recognize the logo, uh, you know who Dynamis Alliance is. If you, if you don't recognize the logo, Dynamis Alliance is run by a former Navy SEAL. His name's Dom uh, Rosso, and he is a phenomenal dude. Um, if you are not following him on Instagram, you should. Uh, he's a great dad. He's got, uh, he's always running around with his kids, which I think is awesome. Um, you know, just overall solid dude. And he makes some really, really great gear. Um, I've been looking for this for a while. It's been out of stock for forever and I finally got a hold of it. Um, this is their Dynamis belt, uh, their EDC belt. The first thing that you'll notice, this is the front of it. There is no buckle. Uh, and that is why I wanted this belt. Uh, it's a Velcro closure. So, uh, but when you put this thing on, I, I appendix carry a good bit. Uh, my appendix, ugh, appendix clips, excuse me, uh, will fit over this enclosure. But if you cock it to the side, let's say this is running down your hip and this is your front. If you want to do that, you don't have a belt buckle that like sticks out on your side and everybody wonders what's wrong with your hip and you know, everything else. So super awesome belt um but it's kind of like batman's belt and i'll show you why so when you open this thing up there are i'm gonna kind of pull it through from from left to right i think it's the best way to do it on on camera there's some hidden pockets in here which is just genius uh dom's got a couple videos of, of utilizing these um they're kind of hard to get into so you you know if from a hidden standpoint it's not like something you're going to go searching for but you can get down in here um, and throw some coins. Uh, he, he's got a video of him throwing some quarters in here for like a just-in-case money. Uh, it also doubles as a weapon because now this is weighted and you can swing this thing around. Pretty good idea, especially if you're in a, an environment where you can't really take a whole lot of weapons with you. Um, it does not flex easily. I mean, I'm pushing like crap on this thing. You saw me try to just open this up. So um, very stiff, which again, if you're carrying a gun, that's what you want or a knife or whatever. Um, you've got this next pocket. This is little mesh pocket. Um, again, if you want to throw um, a house key, some extra, some, you know, some emergency cash, you can throw it here. Uh, and then the last pocket, um, this is actually where I would suggest a house key or something that you're going to utilize a little bit more because it's this double elastic kind of almost like a wallet, right? So you pull this part out, pull this out, and you've got this cavity in here where you can hide stuff. Again, it's hidden enough. I mean, obviously you're gonna take the belt off and you go, huh, that's interesting, there's two pull tabs here, right? Uh, you're gonna know that it's there, but it's low profile enough unless you stuff it full of crap, which that's on you. Um, that you can put this thing on and wear it and you would never know it's there. 
the way it's designed. I think it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, I will wear this uh, when I start traveling for work more because um, on travel days we're pretty casual. Uh, and I th love the idea of some extra cash um, just in case, right? You lose your wallet or something happens. Um, maybe if you're traveling abroad and you want to keep a, you want to fold up a, a, a copy of your uh, passport, and not like an actual physical passport, but you know, you run it through the copy machine and you have a piece of paper, fold it up, dump it in there, throw some cash in here, and then, you know, maybe a house key or a car key if you're going for a run, you know, this is thin enough that it would, you know, it would uh, hide pl pretty well. Um, the way the belt sits, this is kind of more towards the, your your back, um, and then these two are going to obviously be more towards the front of your of your body. So, uh, all in all, I, I really like this belt. Again, it's not. You see the some of the rigger belts out there that uh, have the um, heavier duty clips. This is not that. If you if you want to hang a full size Glock and your, you know, your blowout kit and everything else on it. Uh, I'm sure this would help, uh, but it's not going to sit there. And I mean, you can't stand on this and it not crush, right? Like I can sit here and it's nylon webbing, right? Um, still very stiff. Uh, I run a gun on this thing all the time and holds up my pants and my gun just fine. Um, so for a low profile, um, something that, you know, more plain clothes, I think this is great. This is the 1.75 diameter. He does make a one and a half diameter. Uh, I probably should have waited for that, but I got impatient. Um, there's the red logo. And then he also has a gray logo. Again, I got impatient. This is what was in stock in my size. Uh, but it's a gray Dynamis logo, gray, uh, a, and then the stitching is gray as well. So if red's not your thing, he does have that option. Uh, but go check him out. Dynamis Alliance has some fantastic gear. They've also got some great training, uh, exercises as well. So go check Dom and his team out. Thank you guys for tuning in. Like I said, uh, really appreciate it and hope you guys have a great rest of your day.